Do you remember the year? That season, the Cubs, the Indians won the World Series. You don't, do you? But this year, one city will live it. You need not remind the faithful in Chicago, in Cleveland. Dreams don't always come true. This year, they will. For those men we call ball players, for those fans in the stands, for those in Cleveland, in Chicago, Illinois, Ohio, the Midwest, the nation, and the world. With one win, one city will experience the year it finally happens as the hopes of generations come down to one game. Game seven of the 2016 World Series. Two, one. That's in the air to center. Back at the wall, it is gone! What a start! Dexter Fowler, hello in game seven. One nothing, Chicago. up and Schwarber takes second base and was over halfway there before Kluber lifted his leg for the pitch and a stolen base for Schwarber well you know Kluber it's the last thing on his mind and he's already committed the catcher maybe could have helped him out but that might have for forced a balk up to the number two spot and in the biggest game of his life a strikeout for out number two and door Here's one there, and he got him. Hendricks gets his second of the World Series, and he erases Jose Ramirez. It's three stolen bases. He can fly. It's gonna be tough. Brian Baez. He got them both. And a 5 4 3 double play from Bryant to Baez to Rizzo. Lackey and Lester. Here's a shot into the right field corner by Schwarber. He's thinking too. The throw by Chisenhall. Schwarber out to end the third. They play Santana to pull. He does tie game. Left side, and they turn it again. Bad bounce. What a play, and out. That's going to be reviewed. That hit the lip, and instead of an inning ending double play, Baez tried to barehand it. I don't think ever had it. That the umpires have become that they think that's with the glove, but this one's with the hand. It's not close. So Baez has made one error tonight. Hard hit right at Bryant and allowed third out and a bad break for Napoli and the Indians. Oh, into left. What's it going to be? Bryant tags. Davis catches. Here comes Bryant. Throw to the plate. High. Safe. Under the tag and the Cubs lead two to one. center Davis came in goes back won't get there off the wall in to score is Zobrist and the lead is two it's three to one so does Ross and I think Lester here's a fly ball into right center back at the wall off the bat of Baez four to one
talking. I can't control myself right now. I'm trying my it's, best. It's understandably so, buddy. I'm emotional. I hear you. I'm, I'm an emotional wreck. Uh, well, you're, it's only going to get worse. Just continue to breathe. That's all you can do, buddy. It's only gonna get That's all you can do. It's only going to get I'm worse. I'm in a glass case of emotions right now. Yeah, yeah. Wait till the ninth with this three-run lead. See if that here's Bryant taking off. Here's a shot into right by Rizzo. Bryant's going to come around. The throw by Chisenhall. Now Kepnis. Another run. Bryant safe, and it's five to one. for Joe Matt. Here's a fly ball into left center field. Back at the wall. It is caught by Rajay Davis. About a step in front of the wall. Oh, does not get the call. And it's a full count. Let's see where it was. That's ball four to extend the fifth. Boy, this is an extremely quick hook. And with Kipnis coming up, a left-handed hitter. Lester's coming in. Lester deals. And this is Ross. Has to hurry. Wild throw. And it will go into the seats. And the runners will end up at second and third. With two out. And a bad break for Chicago. Good break for Cleveland as Ross threw it away. The numbers against Lester. And Dorman bounces in. It hits Ross. A run scores. Here comes Kipnis. He's safe. It's 5-3. Strikeout ends the inning. But Joe Madden has gone to the bullpen early. Just 63 pitches. Ross flies one into center. Sends Davis back at the wall. It is gone. The 39-year-old in his final game, David Ross, has made it 6-3. the sixth to the second baseman Baez inning is over and that sends game seven into the seventh Fowler going swing and a miss throw down it's a strike him out throw him out inning ending double play and that sends us to the seventh inning stretch. But he followed until the 90s. Here's a ground ball back to Lester. And the only thing he can do is underhand to first. He looks at his glove, doesn't like throwing to bases, but because that ball, John, was hit so hard. A strikeout ends the inning. Lester pumped up. And you know they are back in Chicago as game seven goes to the eighth. John Lester tonight goes three and a third. Struck out four, walked one. And got big outs here in game seven. Closer coming in. Runner will go. Line drive into right center field. That ball's down. Take it around third, Ramirez. He will score on an RBI double by Brandon Geyer. It's 6-4.
Watch where this pitch is. Down and in. He got it. He didn't miss it. He fouled off the pitches that he had to foul off. And the one area that gave Davis a chance to hit a home run is where Chapman threw it. And oh my. Saw what happened. Swing and a miss. Throw down to second. Gets away. And Hayward will go to third. Go ahead, run 90 feet away. On a stolen base and then an error on the throw by Gomes to Javier Baez. That is a strikeout on a foul bunt with two strikes, two out. That's what I thought they were going to do. This is not a good matchup for Baez expanding the zone. All he's got to do is put it in play. That's into the shortstop spot. Lindor, what a play! And this game is 6 6 into the bottom of the ninth. And Lindor had to range all the way behind the bag. But the Indians got him. And now Lindor pops it into right. And with this, game seven is going to the 10th. Not going to believe this. Just as we get ready to start the 10th, the grounds crew is told by this umpiring crew and the crew chief, John Hirschbeck, to bring out the tarp. He's thinking. Hard hit. Base hit. Leadoff man is on. And Schwarber pumping his fist down the first baseline. He's on to start the 10th on two and two. High fly ball into center. Back is Davis. One step from the wall. Tagging is Almora with great base running. And into second with one out. Zobra stands a base hit. Cubs will take the lead. Almora digging to the plate. Zobras delivers seven to six in the tenth. the rest of this 10th. That's a base hit. Rizzo scores. Zobrist is held. 8-6 Chicago. Yeah. Hayward goes around and strikes out as Bauer bounces another in there. And a big strikeout for the second out of the inning. To center for Davis and a great job by Trevor Bauer to limit the damage to two. A strikeout starts the tenth. To Russell. Two out. The Cubs are one out away. The throw into second. It's a one run game. Davis delivers again. Here's the 0 1. This is going to be a tough play. Bryant, the Cubs win the World Series. Bryant makes the play. It's over. And the Cubs have finally won it all. 8 7 and 10.
For the Cubs, no more. Wait till next year. No more talk of 1908. They win game seven in ten heart pounding innings. For good measure, the foot of Chris Bryant slipped on that final out, but he still threw a strike to Rizzo. And the Cubs, Joe Madden in charge, have won the World Series. Jason Hayward, top of the 10th inning, a rain delay. You call a team meeting. Tell me why you did it, what was said. I just had to remind them who they were. I just had to remind everybody who we are, who these guys are, what we were coming to get here. Win or lose, we never worried about that approaching every day. Beginning of every day, we never worried about win or loss. We just worry about how we're going to go out there, have fun, compete, be right there for the guys next to us, and, and not take this situation for granted. So I just had to remind them that, man, I'm, I'm proud of them. I say it all the time, but I'm proud of these guys. This was your final game. It was an epic game. What was it like to play in this? <laughs> a lot of ups and downs. I'm, I'm totally exhausted. What a group of winners. What a group of resilient winners. These guys had never quit. They've answered every challenge all year long. When you want to just crumble when that ball goes over the fence, these guys fight back and continue to have good at bats and play their game. We use every guy on our team, position player-wise. And uh, that says a lot about this team. It's been that way all year. We got guys that didn't even make the roster that are great players. It's a good organization. I'm so happy for these guys. And uh, I'm just glad they took me on this journey. When you hit the home run, you looked almost stunned. What was it like going around the bases? <laughs> You'd be stunned too if you had my swing. I was, it was good. I you know what? I, I'm so proud of these guys. The city of Chicago deserves this. With these guys. With these guys. <laughs> That's the way to end that interview. You saw the hug from Joe Madden, who becomes the second Cubs manager ever to win a world championship.